Hey babies, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited to finally come back to you guys and do another thrift flip video. Seriously, without a doubt, my thrift flips are like the most requested videos I ever get from you guys. And for today's video specifically, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different denim thrift flips. I have gathered so much denim over the last year. I'm talking like jeans, denim jackets, everything. And I seriously just wanna go ahead and transform them. A lot of the jeans I'm actually gonna be thrift flipping today are actually thrifted from the men's section, meaning that some of them are a bit too big for my waist, so I'm actually gonna gonna go ahead and show you how you can do a really easy thrift flip in resizing a lot of this denim and the kicker is that it requires no sewing whatsoever if you guys don't have a sewing machine or don't know how to sew do not worry at all otherwise I'm also gonna be creating a bunch of shorts distressing some denim fixing up the hems and even styling some fun denim jackets so because I really want to go ahead and make this video interesting I'm gonna try to do something different for every single pair of these jeans and these are just some of the tools I'm gonna be using but to keep it really really simple the main things you guys are actually gonna be needing is just a pair of denim fabric scissors it will just make cutting through these like butter otherwise to combat the fact that I don't like sewing liquid stitch is gonna be a bestie of ours here we're also gonna be using some elastic for resizing the hems some safety pins too and honestly as we go along if we need anything else I will be sure to let you guys know And the first one I actually want to go and just start really really simple basically these Levi's I have right here I thrifted them about a year and a half ago and up to now they're like still one of my favorite pairs of jeans they are a 521 style but I absolutely love the wash how high-waisted they are and they really just fit my waist and my bum really perfectly but for these jeans specifically something that always bugged me a little bit is just the fact that they're like super cropped and even though I like cropped jeans I do prefer that they hit me a little bit longer more at the ankle so I'm gonna show you a perfect little hack for you guys that want your denim to fit you a little bit longer so let's get started with our first DIY and on purpose I chose a really simple one to start off with and we're going to be actually extending the hem of these jeans, quite literally extending the hem. So as you guys can see, the hem of most jeans already are kind of stitched over. So I'm just going to be turning the jean inside out and taking a seam ripper, just kind of start ripping along the seam. And as you guys can see, whenever a jean is hemmed, there's always one or two inches left over that you can always take out for yourself and use a little clothing iron to just flatten out the edges. And being that distressed jeans is super in right now anyway, I really love the fading look at the bottom. Literally just like five minutes later, I extended the jeans. I made them look a little bit longer Which is so flattering for the ankle and I actually personally really really love this like raw effect that it has here You could even go ahead and throw them in the wash. They can just dress up a little bit more All right, so next up, we're finally gonna get into the actual resizing of it all. These are an old school pair of Calvin Klein jeans. I have three things planned for these jeans. Obviously, first of all, we're gonna go and take in the waist. Again, this is not gonna require a sewing machine or anything like that. It's a really quick little hack. Okay, so in getting started with this little resizing hack, I'm actually gonna be doing an elastic hem to these jeans. This is something I've done previously with my tops. And you're gonna start off just by needing a little elastic and you're just gonna be measuring it to your waist size as I've done here. Taking a look at the jeans you wanna resize, most of the time you can actually see that there's a double layer here at the top of the jeans so i'm actually going to be creating two little slits in the denim relatively close to the butterfly and these slits will kind of act like an entryway for the elastic to enter reach all the way around the waist and come out the other end so taking hold of the elastic i'm going to be adding a safety pin to the end of it to make the whole fishing process throughout the jean that much easier so i'm just fishing it through the entire edge of the denim and once it comes out the other side i'm just securing the elastic down with the safety pin just so it won't budge until i get them on my waist once i have the jeans firmly on this is where i remove the safety pin and at this point I just do a bunch of stretching trying to get the jean to fit my waist exactly the size that I want once you have the desired fit just safety pin the elastic back with the denim you can tuck these right under and leave it as is especially if you're somebody who doesn't like to sew or what I recommend doing especially if you want to throw these in the wash um, you could just do a really really simple stitch or add a button just to make a little bit more secure and that way you don't have to worry about the safety pins being there but to be honest even if you weren't to do the stitching these jeans will hold up just as well I did originally think I was gonna keep these jeans long but because they're like super baggy still and there's like so much fabric going on I actually think they're gonna make really nice vintage looking shorts So basically determine the length you want the shorts to be by the back and kind of make your marking according to that So turning denim into shorts is seriously the simplest thing you can do after making the marking on the back of the denim I'm just going on ahead and laying down the jeans really really flat and giving it a straight cut across And as you can see I'm using a measuring tape to mark out the length from the top of the jean to the bottom of the hem Just to make sure that both sides come out even Thank you. 
So with this next pair of Calvin Klein jeans, also a really beautiful wash, but I feel like the back here does require a tiny little bit of cinching. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same method with these jeans too. And I also wanna give it like a nice little distressed knee slit. So in order to give the illusion of longer legs, we're actually gonna be bringing up the slit a little higher. So if my knee is right here, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the distressing probably around there. So step one of these jeans, we're actually gonna be resizing the waist just as I showed you previously, just to make them more form-fitting. And I actually just wanted to crop the bottoms as well because I did feel like they were a little long. When it comes down to actually making the knee slit, I'm just pinching the fabric to create a little hole and then just extending the cut as you see right here. And because we do wanna get those horizontal strings in the rip, I'm actually doing a parallel line about one inch above the initial cut. Just grab a pair of tweezers and you're gonna start pulling out the little vertical lines. As you can see, the horizontal strings are actually white and the vertical ones are blue. So you're going to be pulling out all these little vertical strings and it's going to leave you with that perfect distressed looking effect. All right, so second pair of Calvin Klein jeans, they fit so perfectly. I told you guys this hack kind of works best on the pants that like are only one or two size bigger than your regular size. I definitely need to throw these in the wash so that the bottom can also distress up a bit and this hole can look less perfectly done. I just want to get really experimental, okay? I have an idea. As you can see, they're just a standard basic pair of dark wash Levi's. I do like the way that they fit up here. I have to tighten the back a little bit, but basically I want to create like a denim merge. <laughs> so I have this other pair of 505 Levi's and they actually don't fit me anymore. They're like way too small. Instead of just giving them away, I thought maybe I can go ahead and use them to jazz up this pair of jeans. So instead of having these pockets from these jeans, I want to add those pockets onto these jeans to kind of create a little two-tone situation and to make it even more interesting I'm thinking to actually have a double cuff at the bottom that's something I've also been seeing a lot lately so wish me luck and let's get into it let me start off by saying these jeans actually ended up coming out amazing so uh, be sure to pay attention basically first thing I'm doing is actually just cutting off the hem of the jeans I just made sure to measure a good length that I can actually add about four inches of the other jean right underneath so after cutting off the hem I'm actually gonna get started on the pockets with my trusty seam ripper again I'm actually just cutting off those like yellow kind of brassy colored strings as you can see on most pockets when I kind of got rid of the main stitching up top it was really easy to just rip off the rest of the pocket and then grabbing the lighter pair of jeans I'm doing the same method and using the seam ripper just kind of getting rid of the pocket as so and you can see these little strings hanging out you're gonna want to remove as many as you can before moving on to the next step and at this point it's just super straightforward you guys know that I absolutely detest sewing and I don't have a sewing machine so you're really just gonna be laying down the new pockets on top of the old jeans and grabbing your trusty liquid stitch I'm actually just gonna be putting glue down on the perimeter of the pocket you want to make sure that these will actually be utilized as pockets so don't put the glue in the middle and I tried my best to get as close to the edge as I can just so that I can really really lay down well and just place down the pocket aligning it with the shadow of the original dark jeans and that's pretty much it once you let that dry you can move on to the next step so to tackle the double cuff I just cut off a good amount about this much of the other jean and this is pretty much what I want peeking right underneath the dark denim I'm just giving this cuff a cut so it's easier to line it up under Underneath the jean and as you can see I'm just placing the lighter pieces inside the jean trying my best to line up the seams as best as I can and then once again with the liquid stitch all you're gonna be doing is lifting up the first layer of denim and placing the glue right underneath do the same thing try to get the glue as close as you can to the edge and hey be generous the more glue the stronger and firmer this will hold but I'm gonna be honest the liquid stitch really shocked me this glue is super super strong turning the jeans over you're gonna glue both hems to each other on that side as well and as you can see sometimes one of the cuffs may be wider than the other so I'm actually just kind of wrapping the edge right on top again trying to get the seams to align as best as I can and gluing those together making sure to do any little touch-ups and just letting that dry and then the last step this is obviously not going to be necessary for every piece of denim but I actually really love the Levi's tag showing everybody does and mine was super faded on this pair of jeans so being that both style of denim was exactly the same I actually took the tag from the old jeans and using some e6000 glue I glued it on right on top making them look like a much newer pair of denim and you guys definitely by far my favorite pair of jeans that I recreated I mean how cool are these?
Next one I actually wanted to go ahead and tackle is this black pair of Levi's. These are I'm pretty sure the slim fit style that I thrifted a little while back. I just really love the wash of them and this one is actually going to be a very simple DIY. Something I've been seeing lately that I really wanted to try out for myself is a Bermuda shorts. They are something that were trying a long time ago. Nobody ever thought that they would come back and the reason I decided on this denim specifically is because as you can see it's actually super tight like throughout the entire thigh which is exactly what you're going to want when it comes to actually cutting Bermuda shorts because since they're already kind of long you want them to at least be form fitting but again I would rather start off low and then go higher. So the next DIYs will definitely be more sophisticated than just cutting jeans but Bermuda shorts is a really big trend that I definitely wanted to show you how you can recreate for yourself so I'm actually just making sure that both sides are even by measuring the bottom of the hem to the exact length that I want the shorts. Cutting straight across you're pretty much done at this point you could always add some distressing to it if you'd like but because the goldie jeans I'm recreating only have a frayed hem I'm just gonna throw these in the wash and they're gonna end up coming out perfect. I actually have these 516 Levi's also from the men's section So I'm definitely gonna be putting an elastic in there to make it a little bit more form-fitting and then up here I actually want to copy something I've been seeing on the recent 90s a goldie jeans and mimic that like little thigh rip right here As you can see and also kind of make it a crop flare like these So what I noticed is that the rip actually starts from the seam But just to be safe I'm gonna go and start it over here and it's also not supposed to be on the same level as like the zip fly So we do want to go a little bit lower too. Let's do like this just bring that in and then for the length I'm just trying to find my little ankle bone and I tend to do the crop right above it so right there so cutting off that initial cuff you saw that I made a mark right above my ankle bone so that's gonna make these jeans more suited for my height and I forgot to show it but I actually do want to add a little rip in the knee here as well I just like the way that it looks so we're not gonna be doing distressing instead we're just gonna be doing a regular slit and when it comes down to making the actual thigh rip this is so simple basically just pinch in the corner as I'm doing right here and then you're gonna want to make the hole big enough that you can yourself go and rip it and the way that denim works is that if you rip it it will actually rip along a straight seam down so on one side of the I'm going to be ripping down vertically and then on the other I'm going to be doing a horizontal rip. Alright you guys, so it is actually the next day. Right now we're actually going to go on and do our last DIY and it is this denim jacket. I actually thrifted this when I was in Los Angeles and just because the jacket fits so well, I really don't want to do too much to it. There is one thing though I did want to add to make it a bit snazzy and that's actually put a patch on the back. So if you guys have actually watched my summer thrift flips, you saw that I had this idea from Summer Shiki where I actually put a bunch of champion patches on like different tops. So from the exact same Amazon provider, I actually found this incredible huge Harley Davidson patch and you guys know how popular popular these patches have been. The specific denim jacket is so similar to one of the Harley Davidson ones I saw on Pinterest and this is the simplest thing ever. You really just iron down the patch. If you don't have an iron just glue on the patch using the liquid stitch and it should work just as well and I am so obsessed with how this one turned out. Super vintage looking and a really great dupe to one of the Harley Davidson jackets. guys i'm sweating i just finished trying on all the jeans for the after shots but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe down below if you haven't already and let me know which of these diys was your absolute favorite be sure to follow me on instagram if you guys want to see me style all of these pieces i tend to have something thrifted in every single one of my posts so hopefully we'll give you some thrift inspo for when you go into your thrift stores i really want to go ahead and do more things for warmer weather so gear up for spring and summer i have amazing thrift flips to come so subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the amazing family but otherwise, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!